Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I'm here with a flip through of my latest journal. I'm calling this one Secrets because growing up my mother, who loves daisies, always said she loved daisies because daisies never tell. <clears throat> In other words, you can tell a daisy all your secrets and they will keep them for you forever. Um, this was a challenge for me, this journal, and it's way out of my comfort zone and different kind of from what I normally do because my daughter came to me, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat <clears throat> because I live in Colorado and we have the heat on and it's very dry right now. So forgive me any of those, uh, strange noises I'm making. Anyway, back to the book. So she came to me, she was doing a gift exchange with her husband's family where you draw names and she got her sister-in-law and she asked her sister-in-law about some things that she liked and she wanted me to make a journal for her and I agreed. She Two of the things that I picked up on was she said she loved daisies and she likes blue. So I kind of had an idea of where I wanted to go. I was originally going to do a hardcover book but the more I worked with this kit, this is a daisy kit, lazy daisy kit from My Porch Prints. The more I worked with this kit, the more I had, to me it felt more rustic and that a hardcover journal was going to not really serve this well. So I went with a soft cover journal. This one is soft. It's pretty stiff though, but it is soft. And it's simply a fabric covered manila folder. It's nothing fancy or anything like that. And so I covered it with fabric and let's take a look at the whole journal. <clears throat> so this is actually a linen fabric. It's an upholstery fabric. I believe I've used it in a couple of other journals as well. And the yellow really brought out the yellow and the blues really brought out the blues. I've got corrugated cardboard that I've painted. Uh, I've got some lace down here. This is chambray. So this is actually a chambray ribbon that I purchased and God only knows where I got it from. I don't even know. A Tim Holtz uh, book plate as well as this is my typewriter. So this is my old electric typewriter from college. I use that. It's got a couple of letters. I don't know if you can see all of the B did not actually come through. So <clears throat> it probably needs some work at this point, but I haven't uh, had any work done on it. And it's actually probably just needs a new ribbon. I think it's got the same ribbon I put on it, what, 35 years ago. So that could have something to do with it. I did sew around it with my sewing machine and I felt like this was kind of florally-ish, so I used that there. And there is a lace on the spine, <clears throat> and then more of the stitching on the back. Uh, and the lace covers up the stitches, so I came through the spine when I stitched all of the um, signatures in. There are five. This is some sari silk that I ran through some grommets. Using my big bite, I put in some grommets. And then let's get to the inside. The inside is this indigo dyed fabric that I made a while back. And again, we have a pocket on the inside. This kit came with so much ephemera, I struggled to find places for all of it. So this is just an envelope and this has some extra little tidbit pieces inside of it. This was just one of the cards. This is like a book cover that comes with it. I didn't shrink it down, it comes that size. So that is, uh, I just fold it in half and, and it's an extra place. Then for each signature, I printed both sides of some lightweight card stock. Uh, so this is actually also from the kit on the inside. I used this clock to make it a tuck spot. This is a, a coin envelope. This one, I believe, is empty. A lot of these I left empty to just tuck things in. And a tag and a journal card. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at all those daisies. I love, love, love all of this. 
plenty of just plain copy dyed paper. I don't know that she's familiar with what a junk journal would be. So I didn't want to fill it with a ton of extra things that might be confusing, but I still wanted it to be beautiful. And again, this is my coffee dyed paper that I've done acid neutralization for. So I will post in the, com not the comments, I will post in the description box, both links, the links to how I make my coffee dye acid neutral, as well as how I dye my paper to get this really, really consistent marbly look. Again, um, I did altered paper clips, so I have both the chambray and the um, sorry silk. I did both of those. So I've just clipped a bunch of these in. I did um, I did also go around the edges of everything with gathered twigs. That's my choice of aging. Um, this is, I don't even know where I got this from. I want to say this is from Paper Harbor Company. That is just some old, old uh, calendar, uh, out of a calendar book. Um, Edith Holden. And you'll see why I picked this Edith Holden page when we get to the other half of it. The middle of every signature has something a little fun. So this one has a file folder in it. And this is why I chose this one. I loved this with the eggs in it. And so I thought that was perfect. Again, more um, journal cards that I've just tucked in here. Another tuck spot uh, card and a journal card. And again, every signature that I did has its own, it's got a different inside and outside. So I printed both sides. Isn't this just gorgeous? This is one of the journal cards from this kit. And I just put a tuck spot there. Here's another one. So although I left these pages really blank, there is lots of things clipped throughout it. This is from my 1934 uh, secretary's book so it has a dictionary in it and I found the one that says Daisy on it which I believe will be when we get to the other side of that this I think is another piece from 1972 now if you're as old as I am that's not a long time ago but for some people that will be ancient history again got that from Paper Harbor Company I put an envelope in the middle this one does have <clears throat> Excuse me, this one does have a journal card in it. Another journal card that I've clipped in. And this is the other half of that farmer's thing. And then here's Daisy. So it does have the definition of Daisy there. Um, another pocket with a few more things in it. This, again, is another coin envelope. A tag and a postcard. Next signature, this was a multi-pocket that was included and I put it together. So this has a ticket, this says Daisy, and a little tag in the first pocket. And then the next pocket, I have these two tall pieces, which are really pretty, and I like those together. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then my next pocket has this rather tall journal card, and this is actually a tag. So you can take this. This is a really old clip that I also got from, um, I want to say I got that also from Paper Harbor Company. And so she's got lots of wonderful vintage things. More cards. Some genuine French. This one is a genuine French receipt from 1924. And I get those from Monahan's papers. So a lot of these links I will put in the description box below. This is from an old typewriter book and how to type. This one has this really cute, just again, this was a daisy cover that was made. And so there's extra journaling space there. This was a tall piece. I made this into a tuck spot and put one of these long, one of these bigger size postcards in it. More from the Daisy collection. And 
isn't this adorable? I did, after I put this on, I thought maybe I should have just left that blank. So lots and lots of things all tucked up into different places, but also tons of blank writing space. This is some old French music. Another piece, this is just some coffee dyed tracing paper that I had. Another envelope with another piece from the kit. Lots of journal cards, lots of postcard pieces in here. More tags and more um, journal cards. And then the last pay, the last signature also is much like all the other ones. So it's got the tag, it's got a little envelope, <clears throat> it's got more cards tucked in. This is a report of the Secretary of Agriculture. This is from a late 1800s book that's an old government book. Uh, this is some old French um, ledger another file folder in the middle and more places the last tuck spot there's a card and then of course those beautiful daisies on that card all tucked in and that is the end so i hope you've enjoyed this flip through of secrets and i hope i've encouraged you to be creative today <music>